last part of the uh, lab one on the ribs and, the, and how they articulate with the vertebrae. So I have a real vertebrae here. Um, you'll find the plastic ones lack in detail a little bit in the thoracic region. But if, if, and uh, we're going to need to keep the focus back a little way because if it gets too close, it gets blurry. Yeah. But this is a thoracic vertebrae you can tell because of the long spinous process and it looks like a giraffe and all that sort of stuff. If you look right here, you can see that there is a depression and there's one right up here. And then there's a little scar right here that looks like a cup. So this is the inferior demifacet. This is superior demifacet, and this is a transverse costal facet. Okay, this is a right rib. We can tell it's a right rib because if I pinch the subcostal groove, this, this is the head that goes to the vertebrae, and this goes out to the sternum. Okay, so the head, if this were rib number five, and this would be vertebra number five, the head of the rib is going to have articulation with the uh, superior demifacet, and a transverse costal facet. And that's how the rib and the vertebrae go together, just like that. And then th this would also hit vertebra number four with the uh, superior portion of its you, head. You're going to need to hold this back. Yeah. Okay, I'll we'll try this again. Do it again. All right. So here's the head. It goes into the superior demifacet right there and the transverse costal facet. Transverse costal facet is going to hit the tubercle. And so it goes just like that. So we can see the rib articulating with the uh, superior demifacet, transverse costal facet, and this part of the head would hit the inferior demifacet of the superior, next superior vertebra. The next rib would touch there on this vertebra, and then it would touch twice on the vertebra it's numbered for.